This tutorial will show you how to create a cartoon dinosaur using some basic shapes like rectangles and circles. Um, at the bottom at the description you'll have a link that will open you up to this tutorial here and we'll also be making it on this video. So let's get started. Um, we're going to open Inkscape. Give that a moment to open. And just another quick tip, Alt-Tab on the keyboard will um, click between each of your um, open windows. So once you have Inkscape open, let's set up the document. So go to File, Document Properties, click on US Letter, make sure your display units are in inches, and we'll be making this in Landscape. Close that. Uh, make sure you're in the default view, so click on the view menu, click on default, and then right underneath the extensions uh, menu is the fit to window button, so click on that. Alright, so I just alt tabbed to my directions. So step one, let's start with a box. So we'll click on the rectangle tool and click and drag a box. It says we're going to make the edges rounded. Um, so actually what we can do is the rectangle tool has this little handle in the corner. Grab that and click and drag it around the edges. I'm going to round them just to about there. And what else am I going to do? I'm going to add a gradient just like I see in this um, section right here, actually I'll wait, let's leave it this color, it says to make the object a path. So click on object, I'm sorry, click on path, object to path. Alright, what's it say next? Step two, modify the nodes in the top left, so we're going to make this one extra rounded. So we'll click on the node editor. And what you can do, if you clicked off of it, just click back on. Your nodes will pop back up when you have the node editor selected. And you can click and drag across nodes to select mobile nodes. So that's what I'm going to do with these two here. So I'm going to click and drag across. And I'm going to grab one and it'll move both. So I'm going to grab that one and bring it down slightly like that. Mm, all right, so that doesn't look right. It just wants a nice rounded one. So I'm going to undo, click Control Z, and I'm going to bring this node straight down and this node straight across, and then grab this and make it more rounded. Alright, so this looks a little long, so I'm going to click on the select tool here and just squish it a bit. Let's center that. Let's make it a little smaller. Um, if you can see my ruler here, uh, this uh, shape, if we move to the top left, there's the zero mark. So it's about four inches. So a little past four inches, four and a half maybe. And it's. Uh, Let's see, zero's here. Actually, no, zero's the opposite. So it's about one, two, three, about three inches um, in width. All right, so we modified the nodes and we're going to add the linear fill um, gradient. So uh, you should know how to do gradients because our last lesson was gradients. Um, but right here we have the gradient tool. Um, let me show you something that might be happening though. Uh, if your screen is short, uh, you're going to see a window. Uh-oh, it's freezing on me a little bit. Ah, there we go. So let's say if you have a, a very widescreen computer, in the tool menu on the bottom left, you won't see the bottom tools, but there will be a menu right there. So you have these other options. So we'll click on Gradient, 
and click and drag across your shape. Let me go ahead and expand my window so I can see what I'm doing. And in um, in the gradient, we click on the little dot and the little square. Uh, you can make your dinosaur any color you want. I'm just going to follow along with the tutorial. So it's a dark green going to a light green. So I'm going to find the scrolly bar, go to the greens, make, click on this one, make sure I'm on that one. Dark green, click on this one, light green, even lighter, just like that. Excellent. Step three, we're going to add, it says add five circles, eyeball, shadow, eyeball, color, iris. Okay, so this is a great way to learn how to stack shapes. So click on your circle tool, click and drag a circle. It should um, be the last color that you selected. Okay. So it says make five circles. So we have a gray, white, purple, black, and another white. So let's start off with making that one gray. Um, please pardon my computer here. It's a little slow all right there we go um, just a quick tip if you want to make a perfect circle hold down control and shift at the same time and you'll have a nice proportioned circle all right so we have our shadow I'm gonna right click duplicate or I can press control D and then I'm going to resize that guy right there you can't see it because it's the same color I'm gonna click on white and that's gonna be my shadow just like you see in the example here All right, I'm gonna click on the gray one and duplicate that's control D so or you can right click duplicate and let's make this one black. Go duplicate that one. Um, what color do I want his eyes? I'm gonna make his eyes blue. And then I'm gonna need another white one. Okay, so I'm gonna resize this little white one. This blue one is gonna go on the inside of the big white. Let's zoom in a little bit. And to zoom in, you can click down on your mouse wheel. It'll zoom in. Don't forget about this guy right here also. And also, at the bottom right, you can use your zoom um, percentages. So this little circle right here is going to be a small circle. Now, see that? It's under my blue. Okay, in this section, we have our uh, area where we can arrange uh, selections. So raise selection. I'm going to click on this one should go above the blue just like that and then we have another even smaller circle that's like an eye reflection just like you see here okay uh, so just another quick thing uh, for arranging shapes you can send things all the way to the bottom all the way to the top you want this one underneath thing so I'm gonna go this lower selection by one step so clicking 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 and there it is okay so it says add another two circles turn them into paths and deform the nose for the nostril and a shadow around the eye where did the shadow for the eye I see what we're doing here we're making the nostril and the teeth so we click the circle tool we make a circle uh, the teeth look like they're a gray color so I'm going to click on one of the grays and then I'm going to go to path object to path click our node editor here I'm going to drag this bottom one down to make it long. I'm going to click on the select tool, make it smaller. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and send that down. I'm gonna duplicate it, move it over, send that down. And I'm gonna duplicate it again, make it a different gray, and just reshape it so that it looks like the tooth reflection on here. So I guess it's just on that one. Let's look at the example. They, yeah, they do that just once. Uh, we're gonna make the nostril shape using, we'll just use an oval. We don't have to complicate things too much. And uh, let's see, why is this? There we go. My software is a little glitchy right now. Make that a dark green. Click on it again to rotate. And that nostril is kind of big, so I'm going to shrink it down. Just like that. And we'll do something similar for the spikes. Oh, and I see there's a another big green shadow here. All right, so let's um we're gonna have a two-parter with this lesson so the next uh, thing we're gonna do before end this video is make these spikes and this eye shadow underneath and then you'll jump over to part two so let's make these spikes so I'm just gonna duplicate these teeth again and I'm just gonna make them kind of fatter and rotate them Bring them up here, send them to the back, duplicate, send to the back, rotate, how many were there? There's three. Duplicate, rotate a little bit, send it to the back. I'm going to select all three, so I'm holding down shift on the keyboard, clicking in all three, and selecting a green color. And there's going to be these lighter green highlights. So I'm just going to duplicate that one again. Make a light green. And then just resize it so that it fits right there. I'm going to take that same shape and duplicate it. Rotate it around. Stretch it a bit. Um, because this is going to be... Uh, the other eye part. I'm going to double click on that and just move this node over. Okay, and then I'm going to go one step down at a time and see what, where I end up. So I'm clicking on this. And there it is. Our head is complete. I'll move on to part two.